Welcome back, Papper people, to your favorite Thick Boy CPAP channel, uh, YouTube's favorite cat channel, and the future home of CPAP ASMR. Listen to the sound of my silky smooth voice as you drift off. This video is going to be largely focused on my last video, which had to do with me increasing my pressure from 10 to 11 and seeing exactly what happened with that change. However, this video is going to kind of look like a Smothers Brothers variety show. Let's get started. I want to address a couple questions from that last video of why I was so sleepy. So first, Patty Ann says, I agree with the guy below. You need to sleep longer than five and a half hours. That's why you're tired. I sleep eight to nine hours, never tired. You need to go to bed earlier. Go to bed. Look, I should have edited that part out. It's very misleading. So when I was recording that, I was extra tired because on the weekend, my son had a baseball tournament. We kept getting the early draw for the game and it was like an hour out of town. So we were getting up at 5 a.m. to head out. Then I was getting back extremely late. So I was going to bed, so I was going to bed late, waking up early. The other thing is on those weekdays, because I think I recorded that on a Wednesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because I'm an accommodating soul, I was waking up early for people on the East Coast and even a couple people overseas for AXGSleepDiagnostics.com pap therapy analysis. By the way, a brand new version of my website coming up soon, so stay tuned. It looks much, much nicer than the previous version. I also have some other items here, some other services that are less expensive. You can also use your HSA account. Now, the other comment was from Ray. Ray says, is it possible for the heartbeat to sometimes synchronize with breathing so small cardiogenic oscillations look enough like flat topping to cause mistakes in the machine's flow limitation detection? This is a question hella in the weeds. Has to do with the algorithm of ResMed or any, any machine, really. All right, cardiogenic oscillations. What we usually call it in the sleep disorders field is um, EKG artifact, meaning every one of these heartbeats, if we look down at the EKG diagram, you'll see boom, beat, beat, beat. You can see it up in the respiratory and belt channels as well. Beat, 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 beat. And what Ray is saying is, could those beats cause the wave to be flat and cause the uh, APAP machine to adjust inappropriately? I, I, I say no, personally. I, I don't think so at all. Because how would that, you're not going to get a flat top on the top of the wave if you have EKG artifact causing bumps. That's, that's actually going to make it higher. So if you look at Oscar data, what he's talking about as a flat top is this one right here is nice and round. And this one over here is flat. This one here is also flat. Now you can see these little oscillations here little bumps. Typically those are snoring. Usually it's more pronounced than that, but that's usually, you'll, if you see those, it's snoring and you have a flattening of the top. Now this is me with 10 the other night, which is why I said I needed to increase the pressure, which I think is what prompted that question. Now on that subject, I have actually seen this coming through. Uh, people, when I'm doing a pap therapy analysis through axgsleepdiagnostics.com. And what we found is it's something that can actually eliminate this cardiographic oscillations in your pap therapy or in your airflow flow rate data is if you increase the size of your tube. I've noticed a lot of these are using slimline tubes and it seems to exacerbate that cardiogenic oscillation effect in your airflow. Um, so maybe if you're not switched to a larger tube, other than that, I don't know. Now, before we get to the sweet, sweet data, Oscar data of me turning up my pap therapy from 10 to 11 to see what happened, we need to clear off those phone lines because this is primarily a cat channel. Stewie, this is your cat channel. It's your time to shine. Do something, do something for the good people of YouTube. Good job, buddy. Good job. I also want to do a quick shout out to the sponsor of this channel. That is CPAPsupplies.com. Guys, I'm going to keep this heck of short. They have free RX services, so if you need to get a pres prescription from your doctor, they'll go ahead and do the legwork, the heavy lifting for you and do that. Free shipping on all orders. You have a 30-day mask guarantee. If you, don't, if you buy a mask, you don't like it, size isn't right, send it back, get a different mask. Loyalty reward program. For every $100 you spend, you get five bucks off, so basically 5% off. Your loyalty reward points never expire and you also have a 30-day price guarantee. So with that, if you, like the old Circuit City ads, if you find something cheaper elsewhere within 30 days, we'll go ahead and they'll match that price. Now, back to the video. So I was saying, I was postulating, I was using the Fisher & Paykel Avora full face mask for these, and look at these. I was having actually legit hypopneas, which is why I was feeling so tired 
for so long. So I go ahead and I upped it for the last couple nights. So let's see exactly what happened. Now this night I tried it, I actually had a really short night because I fell asleep without CPAP on. I woke up and I said, oh crap, I gotta put CPAP on and I did that. And the reason why is I was watching one of my favorite YouTube channels, which is Matt Orchard, Crime and Society. This dude has 189,000 subscribers. This channel is way too good to have that few. If you like crime channels, crime and society channels, this one is phenomenal. It is outstanding. You will binge these babies. Anyway, started watching one, this one, and uh, I, I couldn't stop watching. So definitely check that out. It'll do great things for your sleep. Especially the Daniel Holtzclaw video. You will not be sorry. Tell him the linky lefty sent you. So anyway, as I was looking at this, I noticed I have this big, massive mask leak. The mask leak is high and sustained but I am noticing a much flatter airflow signal, which is really, really good. It's exactly what we want to see. So if you go through this, you can see this mask leak rate is up there high, and every time I wake up, it drops off, and then as I fall asleep again, it pops right back up. Not good. However, I did have a more successful night right after that. Again, it's short though, and there's a reason for it. So again, this night at 11 looks pretty good. This is really flat. Have a little arousal there that doesn't look like much. Go into REM, have decrease in airflow there. And then as I'm going along, look at this mask leak pop up. Mask leak, jaw drop. I know it's jaw drop because I could feel it occurring. And then it'll crescendo until here and I wake up, change positions, fall asleep again. This time I'm entering REM sleep. And look at that, big old jaw drops. So. With the full face mask the night before, um, I had the mask a little tighter. I decided to loosen it on this night, and you can see that was not a good thing for me. I actually need to have a little bit tighter to, to find that sweet spot like I did the night before. So I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I am going to up it to 12, and the reason being, look at this guy. This hypopnea was actually tagged appropriately. There were a few more in there that I wasn't really happy with as far as airflow restrictions. So right in here, I'm not real happy with this kind of stuff. This kind of decrease in airflow. Um, it's several right there in a row. Then we have another right here. If we really zoom in, we can see a nice, nice flat wave right here. So we have a few that are nice and rounded over here. Then they start flattening on me before I wake up. So I'm gonna go ahead and try 12. We'll see if 12 is actually any better. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the mask ever so slightly. But all in all, increasing to 11 was much better. I felt much more refreshed. And you're gonna ask, why, Jason, did you stop wearing it at 3 a.m.? Well, let me tell you, the mask leak was driving me nuts. And our good friend, Mr. Stewie, decided to come up and help me out by swatting at where the leak was coming from, which was basically resulting in him slapping the shit out of my face. So I took it off. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and put on all bell notifications if you haven't at this point. Check out my new website, AXG Sleep Diagnostics. Visit the sponsor of this channel, CPAPsupplies.com. And of course, I wanna thank all the Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Thank you guys so much. Stewie and I thank you. Have a great night, bye. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick thanks, buddy, to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espalong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swearingen, Chung Chu Chen, and Edward Steiner, as well as a big thank you to all my other Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Little tiny thanks, buddy, for you guys.